2007's in Pro is it? Yeah, Pro Flex medium and four and a half double X. I really love this pair. They're off the shelf. I cut the vamp down and restitched them. I did a paint job on these with some pink fabric paint, but it's kind of like a matte as you can see there, so I didn't go any further with it because they was dead, it's just like a trial run really. I did really love these shoes, but they are really battered. I've even got like shellac stains all down them from where I've done a really messy shellac job. So that's also worth noting to you guys if you're new to uh, using shellac on your point shoes to give it a go on some old ones just in case that happens. Let's just show you guys these. Next up we have Sancha point shoes. I've worn like every Sancha model going. Um, unfortunately they don't work for me. These are La Point number three. Sancha sizing is really bizarre. These are these are seven. One's a seven and one's a six, and they're both X width. I had to get different sizes for my feet. I wasted like quite a bit of money on these, um, so I had to buy two pairs in one go. They came like pre-darned around the edge. Um, at the time they felt okay in the shop, but when I got them home, they just weren't right. They've got a little toe cushion, but I actually ripped it out. You know, I know a few dancers who wear Sancho and really like them, but personally they're just not for me. They do a lot of models though, so at least they've got a good variety. I did do an actual review on these, I think. Next up, we have a pair of Grishko, um Oh, these were Grishko 2007 Pro Flex, I believe. I think they were. Or they no, no, I think they no, no, no. Those two Grishko 2007. Pro Flex, but I have, this is like one of the tester pairs that I ordered, custom order. I went way too short with the vamp, like crazily short, and they were horrendous. But unfortunately, when you do a custom order and if you've mucked it up, there's nothing you can do about it. I just want to show you how crazy short those vamps are. It's just insane. Nobody needs a vamp that short. I have no idea why I thought it was a good idea to try and do a test run, but hey, I've learned a lot. As you can see, V-shaped vamp. It was medium shank. There's both four and a half double X, and I've not really bothered to wear them because they was actually dangerous with like how much I was knuckling over in them. Next up, Grishko two double O sevens, medium shank, four and a half double X. I've cut down the vamps, re-sewn them, so they're not so long for me. They've been worn a lot, so I definitely like this pair. And they are really battered on the platform. <laughs> Next up we have a pair of... Oh, these are the Block Supremas. I've had these a few times, but they just aren't for me. In theory, they work. They've got a really nice low profile, so great for um, feet that are low profile like mine. Um, the vamp is short to medium and they're really tapered so they're excellent for really tapered feet like mine. Sadly I find the platform is just too small for me but they would be because a very tapered shoe will have a small platform and they just don't feel like I'm getting over enough and I have a hate relationship with the shanks and block shoes. They just don't conform to my foot like I would like them to. These are a popular style block shoe. Um, I've actually only tried these on really because I, I know I don't get on with them. I've reviewed these. Um, so I probably will actually sell these on because they haven't been broken in. So they can go to someone else who will get wear that out of them. Just show you them. And they was a size three and a half in a width B. So it just goes to show that you, that, you know, in, in different brands you're going to vary greatly, so always get fitted. Don't just guess which size you're going to be and buy online, that's a really bad thing to do. Because even in block shoes I vary, I can be anything from three and a half to four and a half, depending on the style. 
I'll get them in the bag later. Next up we have, well, a really, really trashed pair of Grishko Myers custom order. Again, shorter bump, four and a half, double X, Proflex hard. Now Proflex hard is a little bit harder than a Proflex medium. Again, they do still die a lot quicker, but they're nice if you want to kind of pre art shoe really. I've worn these a lot and a great deal on photo shoots and I've actually had an accident with this shoe. Can you see where it's discoloured? I think I may have got some water on it or something at some point. It doesn't really matter at this stage because I can now dye them and wear them more on photo shoots. I've got a little bit of life left. Show you them there. Next up we have, oh these are actually a pair of block demi points. Oh no they're not. No these were block, uh, I don't know, it's even the same. Yeah, there was like a block, a block shoe that I had, block point shoe that, and I've taken the shanks out and made them into demi points. They look like that style that I can't remember the name of. Kind of like Suprema, but not. I've had a shell out on these, and then I've transformed them into demi points. Again, I obviously didn't like them very much if I made them into demi points. Next up, we have another pair of brushing points. I actually need to sell this pair, they're brand new, they're Almaz model, even it's got the little sticker on the back which says size 37.5, whip 1, vamp 2 and shank flexible soft. So yeah, these sadly, beautiful shoes but they are far too long in the vamp for me and I just wasn't getting on them enough but they are really pretty. So if anyone wants to buy these from me, please let me know. Let's just pop them back in their bag. I've got the box too, which they kind. Another thing to think about when you're buying point shoes and seeing how long a pair lasts you is to obviously find the shoe you like, but also taking into consideration the price. Because they all do vary greatly. For example, Russian points for me were at fifty pounds pair, and with Grishkos they can vary anything from thirty to like well, up to eighty depending if you're going for like a miracle. Uh, but generally, Grishkos are thirty to forty-five a pair, and sometimes you can get like block point shoes for like thirty pounds, whatever. But it's if you're at ballet school and you know you have to buy your own shoes, for example then it's worth taking into consideration like how many pairs of shoes you're going to go for and how much it costs because you know, like Russian points are quite pricey at £50 a pair so if they last you a long time then great but if they don't then that's quite expensive next up we have well these are really old gamba shoes they're called I think these are turning points um, my teacher actually really liked these back in the day these were actually bought off eBay. They're a four and a half medium shank, and they've even got a maker symbol. It's like a little kind of starburst with like a C in it. Um, these are these were when I got them. I knew they was really old and they just wasn't wearable, so I actually got my money back because they was described as being new, and you know I didn't even know like they was discontinued. But when I got them, the shanks were really messed up, and they just they look old. I mean, can you look at these and just see how old they look? Even the shank was like, look, you can even take, you can even take a little bit of sole out and see in the shoe. <laughs> it's crazy. They are battered. They're really old. Not actually worn, but they've just been, you know, in a shop for years and probably got damp. So, you know, point shoes do get old. If you keep them well stored, there's a chance that in a few years they might still be wearable. But generally speaking, it's not really worth the risk. Always buy, you know, fresh stock. And if a shop has kept them in a damp, moist condition, then they're just going to deteriorate like this pair has. It's, you know, if they were stored correctly, they might have been wearable, but they're not. Next up, Grishko 2007s, vamp cut down and re-sewn, 4.5 3XM. Been worn quite a bit, and I've actually cut the satin off. I usually cut satin off or let it wear down and darn it. 
Um, I think these to be worn mainly on shoots actually because they're quite like dirty on the sole. Next up, a pair of Suffolks. Now, Suffolk are a company that originated in England. The guy, uh, Mark, was originally a worker at Freed, I do believe, and created his own point shoe company. They were sold at Capizio in, in London in the UK and a few other shops around the country. Plus, he, did him, like, he went around and did fittings himself. However, Capizio are now not stocking them and they have a lot on sale. So if you like Suffolk's, go ahead down there and check them out. I've had various Suffolk shoes. In fact, I think I've tried them all. Um, these are Solos, which are a popular model. Now, I've had a love-hate relationship with Suffolk's. Some of them I like, some of them I don't. They're not, my sh they're not the shoe for me, if you know what I mean. They're a shoe I can wear. These are Solo model, which are a medium vamp. They are a standard shank. They come in different shanks, um, but this one's standard. They're a four and a half end width. And I've cut the shank down to make it like three quarter. They feel similar to Freed's in the way that they feel very old school kind of point shoe style. The way that the box is quite hard, um, the way the shanks are made, the way the shoe is kind of made is very similar to a Freed. I don't, however, like, I seem to have a problem with uh, Suffolk's where the drawstring casing on the heel tends to really dig into my heel and I have no idea why. On point it's fine, but on the flat it's just not. I don't know why that is. I have, um, the drawstrings seem to be like really tough to pull. You can custom order Suffolk's and the guy who runs the company is actually really nice and helpful. They have a tendency to last people all differently but I've heard people who wear freed tend to say they last the same kind of time as a Suffolk like you know if they've alternated between shoes they feel they're very similar Suffolk do a variety of styles so you know there's many different ones out there next up we have one of my first pairs of point shoes I believe which are um, Capulet, Capulet, oh, I can't remember how you pronounce them to be honest, <clears throat> I think that's called Juliet model, I don't even know if you can buy these shoes anymore to be honest, they had that style shoe up the plastic shanks that interlocked and they had all the orange stuff in them, I can't remember what they're called now, D30, D50, something like that, I've, um, I've de-shanked these, I made them in stemmy points, as you can tell the box is soft, there's no shank in them. So I don't think I actually wore these much as point shoes to be honest, but they look like a very tapered shoe. I have no idea where they're made by the way, but I do know I've got a few leotards like them too which is quite nice. Next up we have a pair of Grishko Meyer ones. These are Proflex Hard. They was 4X and 4.5X. I've worn these a lot. Really comfortable. And one of my ideal shoes. Now, definitely dead. That's for sure. Next up, oh, these are the other pair of Sancha La Points. So again, they're the same as the other pair, because obviously I had to buy two pairs to get two different sizes. Next we have Gambas, well looks of things, yep, uh, they're Delcos, oh so they're, they're actually Demi Points, so if you come across a pair of Gambas you would be able to tell if they're Demi Point anyway just by going like this, but basically just talking about their Delcos. So if you see on eBay that someone's advertising these as point shoes, ask to see the back because a lot of them do advertise them as actual point shoes and they're not the demi point so look for the delco on the back these were a five which is kind of bizarre but yeah i really like those and i still wear them today next up oh these are grishko miracles like i was saying about grishko dream point they are very similar however they are not plastic shanks i don't think no they're not just having a peek at them now. 
I ordered these of a shorter vamp but went too short so sadly I can't wear them but they are a nice shoe so I recommend them they are however more expensive because of they've got like nano particles in them and all this stuff really nice shoes quite popular like um they fit like 2007 so I would you know if you want a bit more of a soft luxurious shoe then go ahead and check those out Grishko Meyer ones, four and a half, four, both single X, soft shank. These actually haven't been worn much, um, probably because for some reason I didn't like them. I may try them on later and they might be good for me now, so I'll give those a go. And I've just noticed I have some other shoes. I have a pair of Freeds here, I've worn various Freeds, but they're not for me, maybe there's a custom order freed out there that will suit me. These are A Maker, they're four and a half single X. A DB Phillips insole, which I think is like a softer shank. Just show you them there. These actually do fit me, but I don't like how the platform feels. The platform feels um, very small and very at an angle. Like, I can't describe them, they just don't feel right. The shank is um, like, like a Grishko kind of between a soft and a medium, I would say. Let me just show you. There you go. Next up we have a pair of Block Serenades. These are like one of the popular, most popular block point shoes. A lot of people have these and like them. Personally, I don't like these shoes. They are very square. Long in the vamp, don't like block shanks as you know, but you know a lot of people like them, so good for them. <laughs> but um, they were not for me. Just show you them there. A lot of people get fitted in these shoes without knowing what type of foot these are suited to. They are very square, like they are really suited to people with a square foot. You can't be if you're gonna be like tapered foot like me in these you're not going to feel supported enough and you're going to basically sink because the box is not holding your foot correctly. These were a size 3 in B width. And believe it or not, I think we're actually finished. That was a lot of shoes. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't go on too long. <laughs> If you have any questions about my collection or shoes in general, then feel free to get in contact. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, sorry about the delaying videos. I haven't had time. I've been really busy with work. I have like other jobs. I do point shoe fittings and I can come to you or your dance school or you can even come to me. I'm based in Essex and London area, but I can travel. If you have any video requests, then feel free to ask me and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.